So somebody asked me about this on the Facebook group the other day and there was a bit of confusion about it. It says on it, use a specific tape, then record those signals and then play them back. So one of the first responses was, do the azimuth. Well, that's just compounding the problem he already had. He had unbalanced high frequencies, but this adjustment has nothing to do with azimuth. So let's start at the beginning. This is what heads look like. So we've got here three heads and a deck. Right, one, two, three. Let's take a look at the deck a little bit closer. And here we go. This is the actual head, and there are the mounting screws. Number two is on a slot. That is to enable it to go up and down when you adjust the azimuth. Here's the first head again, and you can see here it's got a slot to the right-hand side, and it's got a single bit in the middle, and there's a black line going top to the bottom. Now we'll look at the other head we were looking at, and this one is, is very similar. It's a stereo head. You can tell that because it's got the division on the black bit in the middle there, but still got the line top to bottom. There we go, that's showing you where the two channels are. You won't actually see that line on a head, but it's there. And this is how a head is made. Basically, it's a horseshoe magnet with the ends very close together, which produces what's called the gap. And that's what it looks like if you didn't have all the metal casing on it. This is why azimuth is not important on this setting, but it is normally important. If you look at the frequencies on the tape, they're cut in there like that. And it's, you know, it's quite simple. You've got the gaps going to be one across. Now, if you look at the red line here, you can see, although it's within one of the top, it's actually covering two or three of the bottom. And that's why high frequencies get lost, because that line has to be perpendicular. But when you're looking at the adjustment that that was asking to be done, you have to have your own head use it, because if your own head's recorded it, it's going to be absolutely perfect azimuth for playback. And that's why you shouldn't use azimuth as a general excuse for everything. And that's why it doesn't always seem to make sense. Anyway, like, subscribe and catch another time.